cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Today I'm going to make a very uh, <coughs> local dish called asam pedas. Um, in English, it's translated to asam pedas, uh, tamarind, tamarind spicy. Yeah, it's a it's a dish made by tamarind juice, and it is spicy. Okay, and it is usually used to cook fish. But today I'm just going to add some uh, 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 variation. So I'm going to add some prawns inside as well. I have uh, barramundi fish tail here and a fish cutlet. Okay, and I have some. We have some green to go with it. Yeah, the okra and also one tomato. So what are the spices here? Uh, most importantly is the tamarind puree, yeah, the asam jawa. You can get it in any local uh, Malaysian local supermarket very easily. Then you need to. Uh, this is actually the blended um, dried chili. Uh, I actually uh, put. I actually uh, soak pre soak about twenty or twenty to twenty two. About, about 20 uh, dried chilies and in water to soften then we blend it into paste like this okay uh, you need some Vietnamese coriander okay these are the Vietnamese coriander you can uh, you can uh, use quite a lot because it gives you some very nice uh, citrusy flavor I have actually one um, lemongrass here but I actually it's, it's quite huge so I cut into two and I crush it I have some lime leaf all right and here are the basic um, uh, raw spices fresh spices I have about two centimeter of galangal I have about one centimeter of uh, ginger uh, two red red uh, onion and about four to five uh, cloves of garlic Okay, so that's about it. There's actually one, uh, I'm actually something missing here, which is called uh, bunga kantan. I forgot to buy. Okay, but it's okay. We still can cook this dish. Let's start cooking. Uh, first of all, in cold wall, I'm going to add some oil. You're gonna be, uh, you're gonna need a bit more oil here because uh, the the fresh ingredient and the chili later is going to soak up all your oil. Even before uh, the oil gets heated, you can we can now actually add in our fresh spices. Okay. So just now the first two is actually the galangal and the normal ginger. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit coughing today. Still sick. So we're going to saute, saute all this. All four of these you can actually blend it if you want to. Okay, um, it's up to you. But we need to saute it to uh, to bring out all the fragrance of the very nice. Um, fresh spices here okay I'll probably you'll probably take one or two minutes we'll come back shortly this is after about three minutes sauteing you can start seeing some of your ingredients start to turn brownish okay so we can actually uh, Throw in the lemongrass. I wish you can smell this. It is very very fragrant. And it's time for us to throw in the chili, the chili paste. You may add uh, extra oil if necessary, okay? Depends on situation because the chili here is going to soak up your oil. 
Can you see this very clearly? Okay, good. Extremely, extremely fragrant now. With all the spices coming together. I don't mind adding a bit of chili uh, salt right now. Just to give it some uh, base taste, yeah. Alright. Now we can actually add in our stock. Always use a soup to cook a soup, yeah. This is. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Appa is trying to uh, <coughs> teach all my followers always use a soup to cook a soup. Okay, but of course the stock will not be enough, so I'll be adding. Oops, sorry. I'll be adding uh, more hot water. Appa is quite sick this few days, so it's a quite clumsy. Okay. So this is the time where we can actually add in the tamarind puree, okay, the asam jawa, at least two tablespoons. We can adjust the sourish later also, okay, but we can start with uh, two tablespoons. Look at the beautiful reddish color. It is not too spicy because my uh, dried chili is the bigger one. Always buy the bigger, bigger ones so that it's not too spicy. All right, so we are going to bring this to a boil. Then only we will put in our seafood. Okay, but I don't mind putting putting in my uh, Vietnamese coriander right now this will give it some very nice citrusy flavor and my lime leaves as well okay let's bring this to a boil all right, less than one minute. It's now already boiling. We can now slowly put in our fish. Okay, this is my siakap, yeah, my barramundi fish. You can use any fish that to your own preference. Okay, you don't have to follow apa to use a barramundi fish. Any fresh fish, which is okay, up to you. Okay, this fish will probably take about less than five minutes oh yeah, to be fully cooked. You can actually add in uh, my okra. Don't cut your okra open, yeah. Put in the whole stick. If not, the sliminess of in uh, the sliminess will actually come out. You can actually tell my okra is actually getting old because it has been kept in my fridge for a couple of days. Okay, I'm going to cover it with a lid. Now, before that, let me add in the tomato. Notice I haven't added in my prawn yet because the prawn can get cooked quite easily. Let me cover. Oh. Alright, let's cover this and let it cook for approximately 4-5 minutes. Then I will add in 
my uh, prawn in between because the prawn will probably take only about three minutes okay this is two minutes later the fish and the okra is not cooked yet but i'm going to put in my prawns Okay. Prawns is optional here, okay? The more important ingredient is actually the fish. So I'm going to close this and let it cook for another three to four minutes, then it is done. Alright, this is after another four minutes. Ooh. It smells so nice, fragrant. Alright, everything is cooked right now and uh, let me do some final seasoning. Use some salt. Followed by some sugar. Okay. And you can give it some fish sauce. There you go. My asam pedas is done. If okay. you can see clearly, let me adjust this for you. Okay, there we go. Here's my asam pedas. Uh, if you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page. You click above the like and follow button. Subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel um, and uh, not, not forgetting the notification button and follow Apa on Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.